Welcome to Monday, April 20th, 2020, here at Pro Fitness Northwest of CrossFit Bellingham. We got a fun one coming up for you. But I want you to start. Five minutes on that run, row, jump, or burpees. Go nice and slow. It doesn't have to be a sprint. Just get yourself warmed up. After that, I want you to start with 10 scat push-ups, 10 mantis, 10 hollow-ups, 10 air squats, and 20 double-unders three times. Just move at your own pace. This is just a warm-up. After that, your wad is going to be three separate five-minute AMRAPs. Okay? Luckily, it's going to be simple. Each one is just one movement. So the first five-minute AMRAP is going to be max stone rows. So make sure you have your stone ready to go. If not, we will give you other options in the comments below. Once you finish your five minutes, make sure you record down that number. Rest three minutes if you need it. And then another five-minute AMRAP of max butterfly sit-ups. Again, record down your number at the end of those five minutes. Take your three minutes of rest. You're probably going to want it at this point. And then your final five-minute AMRAP, max push-ups. We are still in Murph prep. So really focus on making those push-ups as perfect as you can every single time. Pretend I'm there, and I'm going to no rep you if you don't make them perfect. Okay? Once you get through all of that, take another couple minutes of rest if you need it. Durability, it's gonna be one shoulder blaster and then 10 YTAs, two times through. Finished, your recovery is gonna be one to two minutes in each position, and again, feel free to go longer. Go three to five if you want. Scorpion on each side, seated torso twist on each side, and then finish with that seated forward fold. Let's go get you some standards. All right, you guys, for this warm up, I'm going to want you to start with 10 scat push ups. Just like Chad's doing, make sure that you let your torso drop between your shoulders and then press those shoulders back through. Once you get through 10 of those, you can go all the way to the floor and you can perform 10 mantis. Trying to keep those hands off the floor, twisting as you're coming down and then back over your head, reaching that full extension. From there, you're just going to roll on over and I want you to do 10 hollow ups. Really focus on pushing your low back into the ground and coming into that really nice hollow position. This is gonna help you with a lot of other movements. You can either put your hands above your head or you can even reach with your hands down towards your feet if you need to. Focus on putting your low back into the ground. Once you finish those hollow ups, I want you to perform 10 air squats. With these, again, this is the warm up, so go a little bit slower. Really focus on making the movement as perfect as you can. Keep your feet planted, send your hips back, and get your butt and your hips below the top of your knees. Once you get through 10 of those, grab your jump rope, and this is the perfect time to work on your double unders if you don't have them, because you're gonna do 20 of them. It's not gonna be for time. Keep your hands nice and loose, keep your, them next to your body, and just like Chad is doing, get that rope to pass underneath your feet 20 times. Once you get through that, I want you to do the whole thing three times through. Excellent work, Chad. All right, you guys. For your first five-minute AMRAP, you're going to do max stone rows. So with this one, it's just like that bent over row. It's just like that pen lay row. Grab your stone, send your hips back, keep your body nice and tight, pull that stone up towards your chest. Excellent work, Chad. Once you get through five minutes, you're going to take about a three-minute rest if you need it, and then you're going to transition down to the floor for five minutes of max butterfly sit-ups. So again, with these butterfly sit-ups, you're just going to head down to the ground. I want your feet to be together. And what I want you to do is I want you to touch the floor on top of your head, sit up, touch your toes, but really make sure that you're getting your shoulders beyond the crease in your hips. Okay? You're like me and you have really long arms. You don't have to do that, but I want you to get that full extension. Once you get through your five minutes of butterfly sit-ups, again, you're just going to stay on the floor, rest for three minutes. Once you finish that three minutes of rest, and be strict with that one, you're going to do another five-minute AMRAP of max push-ups. Like I said earlier, we are in full-on Murph prep, so make sure that every single push-up counts. I want you to find that position that works best for you in that plank. You're going to send your chest down. It's going to, going to touch the floor every single time. And just like Chad here, his body is perfectly tight, just like a two by four, staying in line, and he's pushing all the way through, reaching full extension and lockout with his elbows. Let's just go for the full five minutes, see how many Chad can get unbroken. 
Nice work. Ooh, I like it. All right, for this durability work, you're gonna start with one shoulder blaster. So you're gonna do 10 shoulder races with your thumbs facing up, then you're gonna do 10 shoulder races with your thumbs facing down. Once you get through 10 of those, you're gonna do 10 rotations. So your thumb's gonna be up on the way up, down on the way down. Once you finish 10 of those, you're gonna do the same thing to the outside. So 10 raises with your thumbs up, 10 with your thumbs down, 10 rotations, and then you're going to finish with 10 presses overhead. Perfect. Once you get through your shoulder blasters, you're gonna do 10 YTAs. And like Chad is always saying, we, you can kind of have a little bit of fun with this one. We're starting with that Y, then you're going down to that T, really focusing on pulling your scapula together, and then finishing with that A. You can also do slashes, forward slash, backward slash, just like Chad. You can also do W's, you can do I's, you can even do some L's. Whatever works best for you, as long as you're focusing on that shoulder retraction, I'm gonna be happy. Nice work, Chad. All right, you guys, on this recovery work, again, I want you to spend at least one to two minutes in each position. You can also go up to three to five. You're gonna start with this scorpion. You're gonna send your arm back, your leg is gonna come over, and if you can, you can go ahead and take that other arm and reach it towards your low back, really feeling that stretch in your chest and shoulders. Make sure that you hit both sides. From there, you're just gonna sit up and you can perform a seated torso twist. So you're gonna put your legs out in front of you, you're gonna cross one leg over, plant your elbow on that knee, and then kind of pull and push and twist your torso, making sure to take nice big deep breaths and do it on both sides. Again, one, two minutes minimum. Go ahead and go up to three to five if it feels good. From there, you're just going to put your feet right out in front of you and perform a seated forward fold. If you can, try and reach your toes. Go ahead and pull a little bit if you need to, but if you can't, that's okay. Just focus on getting as far forward as you can and really relaxing into this movement. Nice work, Chad. All right, you guys, now that you know what you're doing, make sure that you record everything down. Once you have your score, make sure you comment it down below with your name and your reps. If you have any questions or need scaling options, check the comments below. If you need further scaling options, you can always text myself, Chad, or Christy, and we can get you sorted. Okay, without further ado, three, two, one,